<laughs> Look, <laughs> most of modern life, all our diseases are diseases of abundance, not diseases of scarcity. Mm. Right? Old times, I may have starved. Uh, I, you know, old times, if I got sugar, that was a wonderful thing. I should have eaten all the sugar to get my hands on. If I gotten a piece of news or gossip, that was interesting data that would have helped my life and moved me forward. Um, if I'd gotten some brief amount of entertainment, whether through video games or magazines or whatever, that would have been good. Now it's all diseases of abundance. We are overexposed to everything. The human brain is not designed to absorb all of the world's breaking news, 24-7 emergencies injected straight into your skull with clickbait headline news. If you pay attention to that stuff, even if you're well-meaning, even if you're sound of mind and body, it will eventually drive you insane. This is, goes back to Clockwork Orange, where he you know, has his eyes opened up mm. and he's forced to watch the news. But I think that's what's happening right now because these are addictive, right? The, mm -hmm. the, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, these are weaponized. You have social statisticians and scientists and researchers and people in lab coats, literally best minds of our generation figuring out how to addict you to the news. Yes. And if you fall for it, if you get addicted, your brain will get destroyed. And I think this is the modern struggle, right? The modern struggle. So the ancient struggle used to be the tribal struggle. You had your tribe of friends and family. You had your religion. You had your country. You had your loyalty. You had your nationality. At least you had meaning and support, but now you would struggle against other tribes. Modern life, we're so free, everything's become atomized. We stand alone. You live in your apartment alone. You live in your house alone. Your parents don't live nearby. Your friends don't live nearby. You don't have any tribal meaning. You don't believe in religion anymore. You don't believe in country anymore. It's fine. You got a lot of freedom. It's fantastic. But now, when they come to attack you, you're alone and you mm. can't resist. So how do they attack you? It's all well-meaning. I don't fault capitalism. I love capitalism. But look at how it happens. Social media, they've massaged all the mechanisms to addict you like a Skinner pigeon or a rat who's just going to click, 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 can't put the phone down. The food, they've taken sugar and they've weaponized it. They've put it into all these different forms and varieties that you can't resist eating. Drugs, right? They've taken pharmaceuticals and plants and they've synthesize them. They've grown them in such a way that you can't, you get addicted. You can't put them down. Porn, right? If you're a young male, you wander on the internet, it'll like sap away your libido and you're not going out in real life society anymore because you've got this incredibly stimulating stuff coming at you. Video games, another way to addict people. So you have this, you have entire large factories of people that are working to addict you to these things and you stand alone. So the modern struggle as an individual is learning how to resist these things in the first place, drawing your own boundaries and there's no one there to help you. If you like the after school animations, please support us on Patreon. Every little bit helps and your donation will help keep this channel running. Thanks for watching and please be sure to subscribe.